We are back in podcasting mode. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another adventurous podcast. I'm Elena. That's mom. Hi, mom. Um, we are getting ready for our next adventure. So we are going to make some yummy food that we've never made before from different countries. We have a three-course meal coming to you. For appetizer, we are going to make Chinese egg rolls. Egg rolls. For the main course of dinner, we have a Thai. No, not Thai. Indian recipe. It's like it's lamb, isn't it? Lamb. It's like a curry, I think. I can't remember specifically what it's called. It's got yogurt. It's got lamb meat. It's chili Sounds peppers. So it's gonna amazing. be so good. <laughs> I hope For dessert, we have Swedish like chocolate. Like they look like bonbons, but they've got like oatmeal in them. That's gonna be super cool. So you're not gonna want to miss it. Hello, everyone. We're back. We are back in our kitchen. We have some Chinese food, some Indian food, and then some Swedish dessert. Rogan Josh, an Indian lamb dish. It's like lamb meat and like a soup kind of thing. It looks really good. And then for dessert, we're gonna do Swedish chocolate balls. Balls of chocolate. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> It says julienne. That's like where you cut it in really long strips, I think. Okay. What? How do you julienne something? What am I doing? I'm making duck sauce. I keep having to remind myself what I'm doing. Duck sauce. We're gonna skip the mustard. We're gonna take a small bowl, taking care to mash the plum, which we don't have. Okay, this is the duck sauce. Just gonna attack it. Why is it called? You're gonna cut your fingers off. Duck sauce. Do you like use it on ducks, you think, or ducks like it? <laughs> you better be careful, you're gonna be attracting ducks. All right, this is our amazing duck Can sauce. We've got like apricot jam in it, sugar, rice vinegar. There is something else, but I can't remember what I put in there. Hopefully it tastes good. That's a very weird thing. I think that'll be good. We have chopped up all of our veggies for the spring rolls. This is cabbage. Celery and some carrots. And we are going to make wonton ra wonton wrappers for wonton soup. Wonton. Just kidding, we're just, we're just making spring rolls. Egg rolls. Egg and rolls. This so is this is a recipe from gluten free on a shoestring. All right, so we're gonna, and... in the stand mixer, we're gonna whisk all the dry ingredients together. We talked about the fact that this is an egg roll and this is American. So this is, this is an American Chinese Chinese American recipe. Three eggs. Three different colors. I'm gonna warm them up. Just that egg all the time. We're gonna put it in some plastic wrap and let it sit for 10 minutes. Pork and shrimp egg roll. Heat the oil in a medium nonstick skillet over medium high. Add the pork and cook. Add cooking wine to deglaze and stir in the salt, oyster sauce, soy sauce, fire spice, sugar, and white pepper for two more minutes. You can start cooking the pork if you want to find the rest of those ingredients. Here's the oil for my pork. And then here is the ground pork that we're gonna use for the egg rolls. My oil is pretty warm. I'm gonna get a little bit brown. I'm just getting it nice and crispy now. I'm kind of scared. All right, so we're gonna just do you want to put it in the shirt. It's okay. Sure. Stir it all up and then. All right. Um, we're going to blanch the whatever this is. That our veggies here. Pot of almost boiling water. Pot, ice water. See the little ice chunks in there. Veggies in the strainer. We're gonna call this boiling enough. Stir it with the strainer. Cook for about like two minutes. You can see how green it is. We're gonna two, three. The wonton wrappers, yep, for our egg rolls. It says to set the trimmings aside, use even and sustained, but not aggressive pressure. Oh. Roll out the rectangle until it's approximately one eighth inch thick. Don't be aggressive. It's gorgeous. Okay. Number one wrapper. Here's your 
cabbage and your veggies and your shrimp. And it's a really weird texture now because we blanched it. Shrimp. We're making some egg rolls here. Get a massage. Get the it to stay wrappers. Together. But yeah. you know what? It definitely needs to be a bit thicker. And I'm thinking if I just kind of hold it yeah. and just, just massage create a little bit. There's our first egg roll. So they're not perfect, but they're actually holding together, which is a huge feat for gluten-free foods. Two for 325, it's actually really close to 325. And we take them out, and then we're gonna raise the temperature and then we're gonna finish browning them. We have three different dipping sauces. This one is a duck sauce, but we didn't have the plums that it called for, so it's like pretty sweet. This one, which one did you this make here? This one's sweet and sour one, the ginger and soy. Ooh. This is really good. Yeah, it's really good. The crust is a little bit flavorless, though. Mm-hmm. It is. It needs a little bit of seasoning in it. No salt in the recipe. There's a lot of crust for it to be flavorless, but it's pretty good. The filling turned out really good. All right, so we just finished up our spring rolls, which were really good. They were really good. I really want to eat another one, but they're so filling. We have more food coming. But <laughs> we're going to uh, work on the uh, what's it called? Rogan Josh Indian lamb dish. How to pronounce it wrong? But we're gonna start making that, and hopefully, it turns out really good. So I got all my ingredients. I still got cinnamon, uh, peppercorns cloves, bay leaves, all in some olive oil, and they're just gonna simmer in the pot, I guess. I'm gonna add this in here. A mortar and pestle with some spices in it. A lot of our spices, we're gonna add our yogurt lamb mixture. Add the beef broth now and some water. I'm gonna stir it until it kind of cooks down, and then we're gonna add some cream. What do you think of it? Mm, spicy. It's really spicy. And then we're working on making a pot of rice as well. So, um, should we strain that first and then add the cream, or should huh? we add the cream first? I don't know. So this is. Let's add the cream first. Okay. I'm not gonna bother to measure it. This is our four teaspoons. One, two, three, four. Oh, my feet are hurting. What do you think, Timber? We still have to make a Swedish dessert after this. It's super <laughs> yummy. So we need to put all the ingredients in this in a food processor, roll it out, refrigerate it for 10, refrigerate it for 10 minutes, and then it's done. Do you want to grab maple syrup and then espresso powder out? Here. Which one am I going to have picked though? Powdered sugar. This one's, one's good. That one's got almonds. This one's right. good. What do you think, Luke? Very good. It's, it's a combination nice. of fudge and frosting. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Fish was supposed to be for lunch. All went out the window as part of your master plan. Yeah. 